Hello and welcome back to the SMV channel. Hello and welcome back to another Wiz video on the SMV channel. So close. If you haven't guessed by now, this is a Wiz video and it is a challenge of sorts. In short, we're going to be farming Nightshade. Whilst it sounds pretty simple, there's actually a lot more to it. I mean, there is a goal, as in, there is a reason why we're farming Nightshade. And that reason is, well, he drops this bad boy. And I want it. You see, back in November or December, when I uploaded my previous video, I was sitting there thinking about my next video and I thought to myself, one really cool thing that I haven't done yet is decorating my house. Well, I've decorated one of my houses and only one of my houses. The others are just there to stockpile stuff. But I haven't actually decorated one with you guys. So I thought, ah, this sounds like a pretty good idea. Why don't I do that? But the question then became, what do I decorate it with? That's where I had to do a little bit of introspective discovery. I had to delve deep into my soul and to understand what kind of person I am and to really bring forth my personal desires and this this is the image of those desires you see back in 2012 when I first started playing when I first created my wizard 101 account on the UK server I decided ice would be the school for me well I say I decided but really I took the tests because I didn't know you could skip it back then and I didn't know you could just pick a school and I was I was a noob okay one of the spells you get pretty early on as an ice wizard is evil snowman and over time that spell just became like my favorite spell I mean partly because it represents London there's no denying it London is just known for its stabbing I, I would say it's the UK that's known for its stabbing but really it's mainly just London there's just a really bad problem with London and stabbing so the, the snowman you know, it's it's pretty on site with the snowman. You see the snowman, you know somebody's getting dipped. Like it's it's the perfect embodiment of London. There's also one more reason why I wanted snowman in in this house, and that's because London doesn't get a lot of snow. Like I think the snow is just scared that it's gonna get dipped. Like I, I, really, it just seems like there's problems with London. But it's 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 a good place to live. It is a bit expensive though, but you know, there's no and there's no snow, and you might get stabbed. But it's a pretty good place to live. But I, you don't get to build snowmen because there's no snow. And so what I want to do is I want to live the dream in Wizard 101. What I can't do in real life, I want to do in the game. And of course, when I was looking at the snowmen, that's when I kind of discovered that Nightshade drops it. And oh, you know I'm going to be killing Nightshade, bro. This guy jumped in my last video like three times or two times. I don't remember. And I'm not too happy about that. So I'm, I'm going to take it out. I'm going to I'm going to get it. I'm going to get him. And so that's how this video idea was really born and uh, how we progressed how my that was my train of thought as well and why decisions were made to fill this house with snowmen and so of course i started farming nightshade now normally i jump straight into it but my last few challenges have really taught me that a bit of pre-planning goes a long way so that's what i did i jumped on google chrome and i went onto the wizard 101 fandom and i found lord nightshade's page and i started reading through it so let's let's let me just quickly read it to you as well lord nightshade is the strongest boss in wizard city in the main quest line he was influenced by Malistair to control the undead of Wizard City and destroy it. He resides in Storm Drain Tower located at the end of the Hornet Cave. He also gives you the badge Wizard City Protector. Lord Nightshade is, without a doubt, the most difficult boss to defeat in Wizard City, excluding Sunken City and Brisk Breeze Tower. Lord Nightshade is a deaf school creature, so deaf wizards will have an extremely hard time defeating. So clearly, I'm in for a bit of a tough time here. So what did I do? Well, I got preparing. The first thing I did is sort my gear out because obviously Nightshade she's a tough boss and I'm going to have to have a decent gear set on. <laughs> just kidding mate, I ain't bothered to censor this entire video. And now what I needed to do is just wait for my health to just go all the way back up. And then the last thing is obviously to create a deck. Now, I don't know what was going on over here, but <laughs> don't need none of that. It was very tempting to just use evil snowmen because for whatever reason I have it trained. That would be very, very fitting. However, I'm a, I'm a storm wizard through and through at this point. So I did what any storm wizard would do. Who lives in a cave at the edge of wizard city, this fat boy.
congratulations, you played yourself. Now, I don't think you need to see the rest. I don't think you want to see the rest. Trust me on that. You see, on the first day, I came into this with high hopes. I came into this excited thinking this is gonna be an insane challenge and we're gonna have so many snowmen and the house is gonna look lit. And well, the first day was really just a lesson for me. You see, I came in with such high hopes that I used whatever insane boats I had left from previous challenges. I have so many TCs left. I just thought, you know what? We're gonna do a little skit. We're gonna record this and I'm gonna turn it into a skit and it's gonna be funny because I hate Nightshade. He killed he jumped into my last video. We can do something with that. <sighs> this was the first thing I recorded, bear that in mind. This is the first thing I did when I farmed Nightshade. Not the footage you saw earlier, this. The reason why I showed you that over this is because whoa, well, as you're seeing. I didn't get a single snowman. In in day one, in total, I farmed Nightshade. Actually, I don't really know because I didn't keep track because I wasn't expecting the drop rate for this snowman to be so godforsaken low. This bloody snowman is like like Darkmoor gear, man. <laughs> it's like farming for the Dragoons gear set again. What the hell? Like, I guess I farmed around 50 to 100 times that day. Probably a hundred. Actually, I say fifty to hundred. Probably more like hundred to one fifty, somewhere around that figure. And the reason I say that is because I calculated. I actually sat there and calculated it. The drop rate for the snowman is about one in two hundred. It's about one in two hundred. And on day two, it took me fifty-three farms before I finally got my first snowman. And I'll talk about that in just a second. So I must have farmed about one fifth, one hundred fifty times on day one, and not a single snowman. And the issue I had, the issue I had is. I wasn't prepared for that. When I came into this, I didn't look at the snowman and think, this is going to be a hard item to get. Why? Why is the snowman so hard to get? What does it do? Does it give you loot every day? And you know, can you go up to press X and you get a, some TCs? No, it just sits there. Can you interact with it? No, the snowman just sits there. Why is it so hard to get? Why is this on par with like Dragoon drop rate? What is going on here? Like, I get it's 2,500 crowns, but clearly that's I mean, it's not even worth 2,500 crowns anyway, but oh my god. Now let's talk about the first snowman I actually got, because when I got that snowman, I, I didn't have it recorded, because obviously I don't know when I'm going to get a snowman or not, and I wasn't recording every single attempt. When I first got that snowman, there was both joy and fear. You know, I was both happy and sad at the same time. You see, I was happy because I confirmed that the snowman actually drops, that Nightshade actually drops the snowman. You see, after day one's shambles, you know, all my insane boats, and then I spent f some time farming on top of that, and not a single snowman was given. On day two, I'm like 50 farms in, and I'm still sat there with not a single snowman, not even a taste of it. You know, not, not, even, not even like melted water, nothing. Just no semblance of a snowman being given my way. I was sat there thinking to myself, you know what, now nah, she probably doesn't drop it, maybe he just doesn't drop it, for whatever reason it's not going to be dropped right now. And so I sat there and thought, this challenge is a bust. 
and then on the 53rd attempt I got it. I was happy because it, it confirmed that Nightshade can drop it. It confirms that I can continue with this challenge, that I can continue with this video idea. And that's where I also got a bit worried because based on my current data it's about 1 in 200 farms so if I want to fill up my entire inventory, name my entire house, how many times am I gonna have to kill Nightshade? <laughs> And with that realization, I had to make a decision. Do I just sit there and say, but this, I'm done. <laughs> I'm not doing this. Or do I push through? And based on the length of this video, I'm pretty sure you know which one I decided to do. After day one shambles, I actually started to keep track on how many times I killed Nightshade because I wanted to know two things. Number one, how many times can I actually kill him? Obviously, so I can put in the title. And so I can actually calculate the drop rate for this for this stupid snowman. And on day two, I actually farmed Nightshade a total of 61 times and I got one snowman. Now, like I said, if the drop rate is about 200, then the day before I must have farmed Nightshade about 150 times give or take. Day 3 we really upped the work ethic here. On day 3 I farmed Nightshade 150 times which takes my total up to 211 not including day 1 because I don't really know how many times I farmed him on that day and uh, didn't get a single snowman so that, 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 that was great that was a really good day. Uh, day 4 we started strong with uh, <laughs> 241 farms so really pushing it now and we got one snowman so yay we're, we're now two snowman up in this <sighs> I can't do this man day five 200 farms and I got one snowman no I got two snowman sorry yes correction this was a good day we had two snowman in 200 farms which make it makes sense I deserved one for the day before so fair enough and on day six we farmed 236 times and got one extra snowman some of those farms i'm going to be honest they were towards the end of this challenge and i think about 30 of them happened after an update where they got rid of the drops so kind of wasted a bit of time but i didn't realize you know in the morning i woke up i was farming and i was getting drops and then i took a break for a couple of hours came back started farming again and then noticed i'm not getting any drops and i was like well that kind of sucks but in total we farmed nightshade 888 times over six days probably closer to a thousand if i include the first day but i don't know how many times i farmed him on the first day but we'll say 888 confirmed 1000 give or take unconfirmed and of those 1000 farms we got a snowman for five five times five snowmans after about 1000 farms so yeah my 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 drop rate is pretty accurate if you ask me about 200 attempts per snowman <sighs> Now it's time to showcase all the items that I actually got from Nightshade. And I'm gonna be honest, there was a lot of items that got dropped that was just absolute garbage and I did what anyone should do and I sold it all. Literally quick sold everything that I could, crown items or not, pets or not. It all got sent to the void that is known as the quick sell button and it cleared my inventory out and that's great. That's, 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 a, that's a start, that's a start you see. I kept doing it until my inventory got full of stuff that I actually wanted to keep. And then I went to my Aero Village house and I just dumped it all in there. Sort of like a holding pen <laughs> for all the items I wanted to keep. And that's what I'm going to show you right now. There's still a lot. There's still an absolute metric ton of stuff that I kept. So let's just get straight into it. Starting off with, of course, the snowmans. These were the reason why I started this challenge. These were the reason why for six days all I thought to myself was I need to farm Nightshade over and over and over and over again. Yes, I lost a bit of my soul doing this. All for these snowmen right here. Now, unfortunately, there's not enough to really fill my house and, and have it like how I wanted to in, 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 the, in the beginning. But you know what? I have enough to recreate the main cost of the Peaky Blinders and I think that's a huge W so I'm, I'm happy with that I'm happy with that plus they look pretty fancy so I can't really you know I can't really talk down to them you know they were kind of worth it I don't think selling a bit of my a piece of my soul for them was really worth it but I think they're pretty pretty good you know I think they look pretty cool and now by the order of the Peaky fucking Blinders 
let's take a look at the next item. Nutcrackers, who apparently don't know what leg day is. So I've given them some cookies and milk in the hope that they can use that to make some gains and prepare for next Christmas. The next item we have are American footballs. And I say they're American because over here in the UK, we don't usually use bottle caps for the air valves. I, I can't imagine these work too well as footballs, but hey, I don't know what it's like over there in America because I've never been so I won't judge you guys don't worry I'm open minded I'm sure it works fine I also just realized I've been calling them footballs but over there in America you call them soccer balls so these soccer balls I have plenty of them more than enough to sponsor probably the next soccer league or whatever you have over there you know or FIFA or whatever I can I have enough I have enough soccer balls okay thank you Nightshade I appreciate that let's take a look at the next item presents from small to medium to long to large to upper class I stole one of each <laughs> I'm sorry I meant many of each now I really wanted to go around giving these out to people but considering no one knows what's in them and neither do I I don't think it's a really good idea for me to just walk around and leave unmarked packages laying about if I did that you may never hear from me again so I think I'm just gonna keep them for now the next item we have is diabetes in the form of milk and cookies and mint swirls now I've done a bit of research and I think these mint swirls are considered medium size in America and that makes me wonder if this is medium what's large the next item I have is something that I actually I'm actually really excited about fish tanks yay why am I so excited about them you might be wondering well you see in real life I actually have two fish tanks of my own with quite a few fish you know one of them has like double digits in terms of how many fish there are and the other one has just one that owns a tank by himself and I love them it, it's it's a bit of hard work I'm not gonna lie a lot of maintenance but you know what it's pretty cool and I'm excited to make use of these ones because it's just it, oh, I've, got, I've, got, I've got some pretty cool ideas uh, lined up I've got a pretty cool idea lined up in terms of what to do with these fish tags and yeah I'm, I, I like them I like them as you can probably tell I, I really like them the next item is a Christmas tree did I say a Christmas tree? Sorry, I meant Christmas trees. Because I'm stocked for the next six years. Why do you have to buy a Christmas tree every year if you can just buy 10 of them in one go and then you're ready for the next 10 years? That's basically the same concept over here. I'm, I'm literally ready to go for six years. I don't have to buy Christmas trees anymore. And the other good thing about having so many Christmas trees is you can actually redecorate and create unique designs. For example, I call this one infiltration. Here we've got a two for one. We start off with gingerbread houses, which if you ask me, I actually think they're really well done. Like they look really, really cool. And not only that, you can actually go up to them and press X. Now, this could do with a little bit of work because what happens is when you press X and you interact with them, the little gobbler you're seeing, he munches a bit of the house, but it's so quick and your character gets in the way. It's, kind of difficult to see that happening I guess you should raise it onto like a table or something but I still really like them I think it's really cool and then over at the back there we basically have a knockoff version of you know that the made in China version of the Chinese Sun where we're trying to recreate temperatures of the Sun in the midst of these four fireplaces it's going pretty well obviously I'm a magic wizard sort of kid so I'm not gonna feel it but yeah you put a snowman in there probably not gonna survive I've saved the best housing item for last, the snow globe. Now this looks really low quality because I've had to zoom all the way in to show you that I think this is a PNG of Brisk Breeze Tower. But what makes this really really cool is it has an effect where in a certain area around it, it makes it snow. This is pretty lit. And now there are different types of snow globes. This is the winter one. I've got a summer one or some fall one in one of my houses. You probably seen it i really like these snow globes i actually really like it however there is a limit to the number you can place in a certain area and that limit is 20 so you can only place 20 of these in a given area and it's for good reason very few times i actually sit there and think to myself the fact that there's a limit on something is a good thing this is one of those few instances the fact that they've limited the number of snow globes is actually a good thing 
and here's why here's eight of the snow globes <laughs> it's a goddamn blizzard <laughs> you can't see nothing mate. it's so bad so yeah you can imagine not only does it look kind of stupid but uh, I can only imagine it, it's really bad for your processes and considering some people are still running with a 101 on like a 1950s laptop this probably is an ideal okay so yeah it's, it's a good thing they limited it however I really do like them and I wish I had a few more but hey ho I think this is one of the cooler items that I got given by Nightshade all right we're entering the last few items and I'm going to show you all of them in one go because this video is way longer than I thought it's going to be like it, it, <laughs> I don't know what's happened man there's just so much to show you but uh yeah let's have let's take a look then so we're gonna start with these pets over here um as you can see they're just chilling and i've sort of dumped them outside do not call rspc or a or me because then i will just delete the pets we got snowballs snowmen canadian moose we got a nutcracker we got rescue rovers and a little seraph chilling over there so it's a, it's a little it's a little scooby gang going on over here there's quite a few different personalities you know they're all doing their own thing and obviously they're all in nice green grass because surely none of these need snow and as you can see right in front of us we have lump of coals lots of them <laughs> because they've matched my outfit i actually quite like these pets i, I kind of wanted to make one my actual pet but the stats just aren't great and i can't bother to farm and obviously look we can we can make them we can make them nice and ordered kind of like the stormtroopers that's great but heading inside things only get better <laughs> you thought that was everything outside then no Sarah's canadian new snowball nutcracker snowman rescue rovers and elves there are so many goddamn pets lining the walls we also have candle ones gingerbread ones mint soil ones some star wand wrapping paper ones and we have a snowflake on the wall um checking this little thing i had to buy this specifically for this challenge because if we just take a look you're gonna see we have all of the santa hats the world has to offer oh my days and four santa robes and four santa boots uh, a couple of santa boots i don't know why i have so many santa hats like, I just, like clearly there's a there's a there's a preference towards santa hat drops over everything else like, i don't know what's going on there probably because i don't have a beard in real life the, the game knows that and they're just trying to give me beards heading upstairs we've now entered the stranger things room uh we still have a couple of ones that i couldn't fit downstairs and we have more just just stuff on the wall honestly they gave so much and i didn't know what to do with any of it but that's not all because in my backpack i also have <laughs> more stuff that i just did not have space <laughs> Now, if I'm being honest, most of this stuff is probably going to get trashed after this video. I already kept it just so I could showcase it, but now I'm probably just going to get rid of it because I don't know what to do with it, man. I don't know what to do with it. But it's most—it's mostly just the ones and the stuff that's on the wall and the and the wrapping papers. I just I don't like them. If I'm being honest with you, it is obviously seasonal. It's Christmas themed, and it's not. It's only Christmas once out of 365 days. So for 364 days, all this stuff is kind of useless. But yeah, it, it, this was a good thing. This was actually quite enjoyable challenge that was a lie this was not an enjoyable challenge i hated every moment of it however looking at the haul i'm quite happy i'm quite satisfied i'm probably gonna do this again for easter don't count on it because i don't know if i'm gonna be ready to lose a piece of my soul again we'll just have to wait and see but otherwise take care guys uh, thank you for watching this entire video from start to finish i do appreciate it and obviously if you if you did enjoy let me know by leaving a like and commenting and let me know if there's if you have any video ideas um, i've said this before in the past video i do random stuff on wizard 101 nowadays that's that's all i do i don't really play seriously so if there's ever a person you want to try some dumb idea i'm that person let me know i'll get membership again if i have to buy a couple of crowns i'll buy a couple of crowns so let me know leave a comment and you never know you might see your crazy idea as a next video but yeah thank you for watching and take care did i forget to play the intro for this video oh Okay, let's just play it.